Let's set our reader back to loop mode and select the audio analyzer. Switch to the curve editor using the button on the right and go to the frequency weights parameter. Clicking on the button to the right of it will display all of the frequencies that make up the audio signal at the current time in the curve editor. These frequencies range from left to right, from 0 Hz to 20 kHz, which is the maximum frequency audible by the human ear. By default, the axis type is set to logarithmic, which gives more horizontal space to the low frequencies. The vertical axis represents the amplitude of each of these frequencies ranging from 0 to 1. The curve editor doesn't prevent you from scrubbing the timeline, which you can do via the part at the top. Switching to linear mode gives the same thickness to each frequency in the graph. Since there are less high frequencies in the signal, there is usually a gap on the right. Switching back to logarithmic mode generally gives you better control. Above this graph, there is a segment made up of two points with a value of 1. This curve actually represents the weight applied to each frequency at the time of audio analysis. Here, you can reduce the weight of high frequencies to only keep the low frequencies. Remember that the audio analyzer averages the amplitudes of the selected frequencies. By excluding certain frequencies, you only keep low frequencies with higher amplitudes, so the result of this average will be more significant. Depending on the weight applied to these frequencies, the multiplier will help regulate the overall result. Go back to the composition parameters and set its duration to 4 seconds to loop it. By moving these points, you can make a precise selection of the frequencies to keep in this average, and you can use the panel on the right to enter precise values. You can select only the high frequencies that will be used to average the output of the audio analyzer. Here, the low frequencies have been completely excluded from the average, and the analysis is based solely on frequencies with lower amplitudes but are also much less common. Since the curve editor is the same as the one used for animations, you can use any interpolation type. The bounce interpolation type used here will progressively apply decreasing weights as we move toward the high frequencies. Keep in mind that some interpolation types, like custom mode, can extend the weights based on the tangent defined by the point. In this case, low frequencies will be amplified with negative values. Using the broken interpolation type will allow you to modify the tangent on the right side of the point while leaving the left tangent flat. There is no limit to the position of the points, so it's possible to apply a negative value to invert the amplitude of certain frequencies, especially on the position. By setting the point's value back to zero, selecting only high frequencies, you can see that selecting only high frequencies will result in a lower output. That covers the audio analyzer parameters. It's possible to perform this analysis on a single channel, which will speed up the calculations, whether it's originally a stereo stream or contains many more channels. In this video, we went over how to manage the weights of frequencies during audio analysis to precisely select a set of frequencies to guide a parameter. 